for you when you see this, but it's Thursday for us, so happy day whenever you watch this. We survived the storms last night. We thought there was a possibility of a tornado coming, and so everybody in the neighborhood was preparing for something terrible, and the storm came and everything was okay. John sure had a fun time with the lightning and the thunder. He thought it was awesome. He laughed a lot about it, which is great because if it were me, I probably would, and I was a little kid, I probably wasn't that excited. Probably more scared than excited. But we survived and the only thing that I know of that happened in our area was that there was a house, um, I'd say it's, we drove by it. It's probably about an, a mile and a half, two miles away from here. And it got struck by lightning. Thankfully nobody was home, but I just, I feel really bad for those people. And for any of you who live um, in Illinois or anywhere else where there were tornadoes, I'm really sorry and we're praying for you and I hope that everything is okay. And so now what I'm do working on is just a snack for the kids. It's late afternoon and I thought I'd show you what I'm making. I've never made it before, so we're gonna learn about this together. It's called s'mores crunch munch mix or something like that it was introduced to me by one of my favorite um, food bloggers her name is jamie cooks it up net and so um i will share the link to her recipe down below for you i think she's awesome she has great things i've never met her but i'd love to i'd love to give her a high five for making dinner time so much better at our house of course this isn't dinner this is just a snack Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get started and see if I can get this whipped up before John wakes up from his nap. I'm gonna take some almonds and just toss in there and just mix it all up. My hands are clean and it's just my family, so I'm just gonna use my hand. So now I'm going to make the caramel sauce. So it says to turn the pan on to medium high heat, so I'm gonna do that. And then I need to melt my butter and mix it in with the caro syrup and brown sugar. That's easy enough. And I'm supposed to bring it up to a boil, but then just let it simmer so it's not heavily boiling for five minutes and just stir it occasionally. Now here comes my caro syrup. You know the stuff is not good for you. Yeah. Tastes good though. Pour that in. a gray day outside. I kind of like it. It's a lot cooler today than it's been. Okay, and then I'll get my brown sugar for that in. I'm just going to give it, stir it up. Okay, time's up. So now I will just take this over here, take it off the heat. I have baking soda here. I'm just going to dump that in. Stir it up, and now I'm ready to put it into the s'more mix. I bought an extra large bag of the Golden Grams and I probably didn't need to. So if I was going to make this much, which I know that my family will like that, I probably would have just doubled the batch of caramel because it doesn't seem like there's enough caramel to go around with all of the um, cereal that I have. But I'm gonna let the kids try it in a minute and see if they like it. I have my three best critics here and they are going to try this treat and tell us how they like it. Okay, Johnny, eat it. Ready, go. It's all one big bomb. What do you think, John? Is it good? No! I need to get some of everything. I got everything I'm not good. Is that what you think, John? That's really good. What do you think? I just need more chocolate chips. You think? 
<laughs> Jake, up here. What do you think? <laughs> yeah? I need more chocolate chips, so. Okay, well, you should give this a try at your house and tell us if your Tell us if your family liked it or not. Because it's a hit at our house. It's a great summer treat and you didn't even have to build a campfire. We decided that you to sort of teach Don how to gargle. Ow. Ow. Oh, did you hit do you hit your teeth? Put it down. Okay, have Becca show you.